The Lucy Craft Laney Museum of Black History, in partnership with the Augusta Convention and Visitors Bureau, is pleased to present the past, present, and future of the Civil Rights Movement in Augusta, Georgia. The family, um, my mother, my father, myself, and a couple of other uh, family members, uh, we were returning from Chicago where we had attended the funeral of my grandmother. And um, in Chicago, we had heard nothing about what was going on. And the time span between having left Augusta and returning to Augusta was somewhat like maybe five days. Okay, so. Um, Upon coming back through Atlanta, I think we began to see some media or hear some media that something had taken place in Augusta, a riot uh, relative to uh, race relations. A relative picked us up at the airport and that's where we began to learn more, get just a little bit more detail. And so the relative said, well, let's just drive back through Laney Walker Boulevard where a lot of the rioting took place. And of course, I have the picture in my mind of Laney Walker Boulevard when I left five days prior, and now here I'm coming back to Laney Walker Boulevard, and it's nothing like the picture I had in my mind when I left five days previous. Yes, there was smoke, there was some burning, and of course the, the whole area was like, desolate. There were no people on the street. Um, everything was like quiet and like everybody was shut up inside the um, house. So we just rode back through um, all the way up Lena Walker Boulevard because we lived in the section of town called Sand Hill. So this was a straight path and an easy access. Um, the initial impression Gee, this, this certainly is different. Um, and so that was my initial, I guess, engagement in the movement of change that was to come and perhaps that I would subtly uh, uh, become aware of as I began to continue to live here in Augusta and to experience um, the change. I was a teacher in the Richmond County Public School System and I began my teaching career at the A.C. Griggs Elementary School uh, which was a segregated um, black school located in the Turpin Hill area. And of course it was probably like within the very next year um, when we as teachers began to hear and learn more about a desegregation court order that the Richmond County School System was under and that teachers were going to be transferred um, from school to school. So the first phase of the integration because of that court order was to transfer teaching staff. And so with that, um, change in my life from the riot was to be moved from a predominantly black elementary school in Turpin Hill to the Montesana Elementary School up in the Somerville area, higher up on the hill, um, where my classroom and the students would become um, all white Anglo-Saxon students. So that was the first phase. I didn't notice any difference in, in how the white class received me as I did when my African-American uh, black students received me. I think children were basically children and at least I was still basically that teacher. Um, I was just simply transferred from a black school to a white school. And so at the Montesana Elementary School, I was assigned to third and, and, and fourth grade children. About that time, the students were being integrated. That was uh, somewhere around 
74-75, okay? And so the students, so I had some, I had a mixture of children, African American as, as well as white students. Again, from the perspective of the classroom, the teacher, uh, the mixture of students, I noticed no, no difference. And the, the children, all children responded to the teaching. Um, there was a cooperative relationship focusing on the needs of the students between myself and other African-American teachers, myself and other white teachers, because the reading and math that the children got from me did not replace the reading and math that they received in the regular classroom. So it was incumbent upon us, uh, multiple teachers of the same students, to be able to work together, to communicate together, to plan instruction, present and provide instruction on behalf of each of those students in a focused, organized manner that was best for the uh, student. That's kind of from getting off that airplane on that uh, particular day, back in the 70s when the race riots started, to, my, to span my 43-year career in the Richmond County public school system and where instances of color, instances of race, those things were a part of my history, uh, but actually no adverse effect from it, but yet realizing that yes, uh, race uh, is a part of my life and my career as I moved uh, through the district. For more information about our black heritage and to see our interactive map on black history locations in Augusta, Georgia, visit our website, lucygraphlandymuseum.com.